stop, stop scrolling. This post, this post is going to be different than my other ones. Hi, I'm Christina. I am founder of The Impactful Parent, and every week I come on here to do some live videos for you. I answer your parenting questions that you submit throughout the week, and this week I didn't have a question. So I thought, you know, do I make one up? Do I not? And instead, I decided to get personal, which I rarely ever do. So if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that I give parenting advice, I help parents of school age Um, with school age kids, but I rarely talk about myself. It's like my personal brand isn't very personal. (laughs) And I'm going to try to change that, starting with this live video. And I'll tell you, this is out of my comfort zone. Why? You're probably thinking, she does videos every week and I get on camera like this all the time, but I don't really like talking about my personal life. I also want to respect my kids because I don't want to pull their dirt out to the public. Um, And I don't really like showing their faces on social media for safety reasons. (laughs) And yet I'm a parenting coach who doesn't show their, their, her four kids, right? It's weird. But If you're still following me, I just want to tell you I appreciate you. Um, This is hard. This is hard work to be an entrepreneur. You know, I quit my teaching job, which I loved, to do this, to help people on a larger scale. So really do submit a question for next week so I have something live to talk about other than myself. But I do want to get into a little bit more about me. Uh... I've been finding and trying to find a time to talk about this that because it bothers me, but I, it never comes up. And that is, I want to talk about my mom. I hope I'm not going to cry. <laughs> See, I lost my mom to cancer about 11 years ago. And my mom never knew my last two children, who are now ages 9 and 11. I was actually pregnant with my third when uh, she passed away. And my mom would be really proud of me that I started my own business, that I'm trying to help people. And she was the nicest lady I ever met. Um, my mom um, was a big influence, obviously, in how I parent. She was soft and gentle. And that showed me that I didn't have to be a mean parent to be a good parent. Um, As some of you can see, I am Hispanic. My ancestors are Mexican. And I come from a culture where dominance is prevalent. And, um, you know... That's they spanked and it it would suck it up kind of kid kind of thing when you're growing up. And yet my mom wasn't like that. And so I discovered that there must be a different way uh, to parent my own kids because I knew my mom did a great job. Can I say I feel so guilty from being a teenager and horrible to my mom? I feel so guilty now that I'm older. Um, Teenagers of the same, have a controversy with their same-sex parent. It's just a statistical thing that happens in life. Um, It's just as they're growing, it's like instinctual that that's competitor or something. And anyway, it's, I did, I I had, my mom bugged me for no reason. And I feel horrible about it to this day. And yet I know it's really not my fault. It was my hormones telling me to do that. But it's hard to forgive yourself when you just, uh, can't tell your mom sorry. Um, But I had a really good relationship with my mom. And back again to that, she showed me that maybe I could parent a different way. And, um, and I wanted to help kids. And, you know, I spent 20 years teaching uh, preschool through middle school, most of that time. And uh, that's where I learned how to interact with kids the most. And then my own four kids have been super challenging in their own right uh, to live it. So um, 
that's where the majority of my experience comes from. And then I read and I do research and I'm always learning. I'm a continuous learner on the better ways to do parenting. And then I just want to tell everybody else that they don't have to do all the research and all the time. They could just learn it by watching these videos, um, which is why I founded the Impact of Parent. So that can make a bigger impact on people. Um, but I miss my mom a lot, of course, around Mother's Day. And I always want to say something about not having my mom on Mother's Day and that it doesn't seem appropriate because I want people to enjoy their mothers. I don't want to be down on moms on Mother's Day, right? Um, and then I don't really like to mention it around the holidays, but now I know the holidays are approaching and I can start to feel it. I can feel it creeping up that I miss her every single day. And I have a great support system. I actually have an amazing stepmom, because my dad remarried, who's awesome, who I probably don't utilize enough. <laughs> and she's one of my biggest fans. And I appreciate her a lot. Since, since I don't have my own mom here. And I don't really want to talk anymore about it. But again, just wanted to tell you a little bit today about me and why I do what I do and how. And I'm going to try to make this personal brand, Christina Combos, founder of The Impactful Parent, more personal from here on out. And so you're welcome also, not only to ask me parenting questions, but you can also ask me questions about myself if you'd like to know anything. <laughs> um... And maybe next week, I'll pick your question to answer live right here. So go ahead and DM me, or you can write me an email at theunpackableparent at gmail.com. And all your submissions are always anonymous. And I just would appreciate that support. Let me know what you need, because that's why I do this. And... It makes me feel good. So let's grow amazing children. Thanks, everybody.